Today, we're going to learn about how to manage distilled water in lead acid batteries used in electric forklift. Now, regular maintenance is essential to extend the battery's lifespan and ensure safe usage. Let's invite an expert to explain all the details. Hello, senior manager. I'll explain how to manage distilled water in lead acid batteries. So, first of all, what are the necessary materials for managing distilled water? Yes, the necessary materials are as follows. Distilled water, protective gloves, safety goggles, a battery charger, and a hydrometer. Okay, so what safety equipment should be worn before starting the work? Before starting the work, please wear protective gloves like myself and also safety goggles for mm -hmm. safety. Lead acid batteries are highly acidic, so Please be careful not to let them come into contact with your skin or eyes. If it comes into contact with your skin, wipe it off with a cloth or a tissue and then wash it with water. I see. So now, can you please open the battery cap and show the inside, please? I understand that the amount of electrolyte in the battery cell is very important in an electric forklift. Now, why is that? The electrolyte plays a crucial role in generating electricity through chemical reactions inside the battery. If the electrolyte is insufficient, the battery's performance can deteriorate. I see. So, Chief, then let's get into the main point. What role does distilled water play in a lead acid battery, and why does the amount of distilled water naturally decrease? As I mentioned earlier, the electrolyte in a lead acid battery mainly consists of sulfuric acid and distilled water. Distilled water helps regulate the concentration of the electrolyte and facilitate smooth chemical reactions inside the battery. When charging or using the battery, the electrolyte undergoes electrolysis, turning into hydrogen and oxygen gases. Now, during this process, distilled water evaporates, reducing its amount, therefore it is very important to regularly replenish distilled water. Now, I have another question for you. How should the battery be managed in terms of charging and discharging? The battery should be charged within 8 to 12 hours after use, depending on the type of charger. Then, it should be allowed to cool and stabilize for 4 to 8 hours before use. Mm -hmm. The battery should not be left in a discharge state as it can lead to the formation of sulfates. Storing the battery in a discharge state significantly reduces its lifespan. So, in order to extend its lifespan, it is best to charge the battery after discharge before storing it. I see. Now, how do you replenish distilled water then? Yes, replenishing distilled water should be done only after the battery is fully charged. Mm -hmm. Now, check the amount of distilled water when the battery is 100% charged. And if it's sufficient, Proceed with replenishment. So first, open the cap of each cell, check the height of the indicator, and if it's low, you can add distilled water. Please be careful not to exceed the maximum fill line of the cell. Excessive distilled water can degrade the battery's performance, and if it overflows, it can cause odors and corrode the top cables. There is no fixed schedule for replenishing distilled water. It should be checked and replenished as needed. I see. Thank you so much for your detailed information. Now, is there anything else to check besides the amount of distilled water? Yes. The electrolyte in the battery consists of sulfuric acid and distilled water, so it is important to maintain the proper concentration of sulfuric acid. At 100% charge, the specific gravity should be between uh, 1.280 and 1.290 at 25 degrees Celsius. The specific gravity can be measured with a hydrometer. The hydrometer is included with the battery when the vehicle is shipped. The hydrometer is structured like a dropper. Let me show you a demonstration. When you draw the electrolyte into the dropper, the hydrometer moves according to the specific gravity, allowing you to measure it. Thank you so much for your information. Today, we learned about how to manage distilled water in lead acid batteries for electric forklift. Now, if you found this video helpful, please press like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.